Hi there! This is Al from TheGamingGeek.net and today we've got another uh, Retroid Pocket 3 performance test. We're looking at another PlayStation Portable game. This time it's a uh, Crash Tag Team Racing. Uh, now I chose this game because uh, I tried it out on the Anbernic RG503 and I wasn't satisfied with the performance. Um, so I wanted to see if this is something that the Retroid Pocket 3 could handle. It's also a good Mario Kart alternative, right? So if you if you like kart racing uh, and you want a good Mario Kart style game, I thought that uh, this game would be a good uh, game to look at. Now, uh, as requested by one of our um, subscribers, I am using the HDMI out of the Retroid Pocket 3 so it does kind of mess up the video a little bit because um, it's not performing as smoothly. I'm not sure if it's because of the added load of having to you know output the video or it's because of the capture card that I have or even the software that I'm using to capture the footage but let me just tell you that this um, game works a little better on the Retroid Pocket 3 than what you're seeing uh, with this um, using HDMI out. So before we go into the game, let's go and take a look at the settings that I'm using. So I have this on the OpenGL backend. It's weird uh, because um, when I was still uh, testing out PPSS PP games on the RG552, uh, people were telling me to use Vulkan, right? And not being able to use Vulkan uh, on the Anbernic RG503 uh, was considered a limiting factor, right, in those devices. And yet, when I get to the Retroid Pocket 3, I read up on some conversations. Um, turns out that OpenGL is better than Vulkan with some games. So we're choosing that here. Uh, we're choosing buffered rendering because when you choose skip rendering effects, nothing shows up. It's just a black screen and I can't even back out of it. So uh, I'm not even gonna show you guys how it looks like because I'm gonna get stuck. So just trust me. And you can test it yourself, right? Uh, try skip rendering effects, but I'm telling you, you're not gonna see anything. We have frame skipping to 1 and auto frame skip selected and then uh, scrolling down of course we want this to output at uh, 2x uh, PSP. Um, I'll think about it whether or not we want to take a look at this uh, at 1x later. But scrolling down a little bit further, ooh, I can't uh, check that option but I have lazy texture caching speed up check. I have disable slower effects check. I have, um, what else did I change? I have lower resolution for effects, reduces artifacts selected as safe. All right. You know what? Let's see if, let's change this to aggressive, right? Cause it's just effects. All right. And of course I have the FPS and the game speed at the upper right. So I, I won't be monitoring that. I'll be looking at the game per se because it is a racing game. Alright, now we're gonna uh, put in our name. I'll just put in key. Doesn't matter. We're not gonna save. Alright, so there's a multiplayer option. But uh, since the assumption is uh, we won't be able to use wireless to play multiplayer we'll do single player all right so uh, when I tested this game out uh, what surprised me was that Top of the uh, crash tag team racing had a platforming uh, section to it it's weird you'll see here that's right, Chick Baby. On what so might be the final day chickens. of operation, Von Clutch will surely have to turn out the lights on his lifelong dream. Von Clutch, the deranged genius cyborg, has fabricated the ultimate auto racing theme park. Indeed, the park's tracks have wreaked terror on its participants. 
too gruesome for this reporter to describe <laughs> over the air. Well, I ain't got a problem with it. Man, you ever put a big ham in a wood chipper? I know I have. <clears throat> oh, sorry. But now old Von Clutch's power gems have been stolen. Giving Von Clutch just a few hours to get his power gems back. Oh, it's slam dunk. Thank you, punk. Ebenezer Von Clutch is now risking his park ownership in a high-stakes, no-holds-barred race. Race contestants must survive a gauntlet of each of the park's five lands and recover every one of the power gems that have been stolen. All right, here are our characters. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before we do away with these meddlesome rodents forever! <laughs> I've never been a big Crash Mr. Bandicoot Dana, fan, really? so I don't know I who these guys are. I have only a short time left before I'm Kaputsky. We must find more races. Is there no dumb cast among you? Yeah, I think you? we're convinced that uh, this cutscene right? plays well, so let's okay, just skip. Newbie. To walk or run, simply move the analog stick or directional buttons in the direction you want Crash to move. Go ahead. I oh. won't laugh. <laughs> Alright. So this is the platforming part. And um, the video Small might, might be showing you... you... Jump move to get over. Now hit that X button and oh. let's see you do just a single jump. Come on, baby. Feel the, it. the video might be choppy. That that's really more of the game capture uh, card than than the game itself. And uh, when I tested this without uh, the HDMI capture card, uh, it was doing really well. Distances require you to do your first. Press the square button to perform. All right. So you this know, is the the platform part. Even inside certain objects. You, you have to go. Yo, yo. Through an adventure to unlock to uh, the trap. Oh no, I fell down. Oh, darn it. I was going to go here. So it's it, it's kind of like uh, if you mix a, st a standard uh, Crash Bandicoot game with uh, Mario Kart. That, that's how this game plays to me. Oh no. Alright, got a lot of coins. I think we've gotten them all. Let's skip it. Now is this a... Um, because I'm recording footage for this, so... This isn't how you'd expect HDMI out, right? While hanging, move the analog stick or press the directional buttons to edge shimmy left and right. Press the X button to move off the edge. Try it. It's the bomb. It's hard to talk over that that fellow. All right, where where okay. was I? You've reached your first lap. Oh, Somebody get a picture. This to game does so ladder, much press talking. Press the X button to jump on, and then press it again and again until you reach the top. Oh, it fell down. Uh, where was I? Yeah. Um, there's a lot going on uh, here. I have an HDMI uh, video capture card and I'm capturing it via capture software and a oh, computer. This place is a dump. Sometimes the floor will just so it get looks way really under. choppy. Play safe and jump over. Oh wow. The... But the game itself actually is much better. You know what? Let's just... Uh, Let's just record this with the camera because I think uh, the the camera is gonna do a lot more justice to this. Well, let's see. Let, let, let's get to the. There was a slowdown okay. earlier. You're gonna love this. Jump pads allow Crash to jump to otherwise inaccessible locations. To do it, press the X button to jump onto a jump pad. Man. <laughs> Now I'll do it for a little later. Let's let's take a look at what what happens here. I'll skip through the. Uh, 
uh, all the stuff. Right, let's take a look at uh, the part where this struggles the most. Which is this area. And I understand why. When, when we're here, uh, we're looking at the entire park. And this Let's is where the, 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 the Retroid Pocket 3 struggles a bit. But you have your first power gem there. So we're going to the Mystery Island Gate. You know what, let's, let's finish a race uh, on HDMI and then I'm gonna move to a uh, standard camera and then let's, let's compare the yeah, that shiny performance. Vehicle. Crash can perform special tasks around the world and unlock new vehicles. Man, can you see me in a couple of hens cruising in one of those? Oh. Woo! Is that considered a... Uh, keep falling. Oh man. So I put the gem and that unlocks the area. You know what? Gonna... Yeah, the, the video capture looks choppy, right? But if you look at the game speed in the upper right it says it's a hundred percent so this this has nothing to do with how the game is performing it's really how the software is capturing the footage all right let's skip that because i want to get to the racing time for some new threads baby when you come across a person with a shirt icon above their now head, again, it means they have um, an outfit the same. I don't Press think this is representative of how the device would perform if you connected it to a TV. Uh, because the, the setup is much different, right? It, uh, you connect the, the Retroid Pocket 3 directly to the television using HDMI. Boy. On maneuvering your vehicle, use the analog stick or directional buttons to steer. Go ahead. Here, no what, what I have is, um, oh, man. I have a capture card. Coolio, baby. Two vehicles can merge together during a race. While close to another vehicle, press the triangle button. Press the triangle button again to separate. If somebody wants to clash with you, but you're not down with that, oh, press wow. the triangle Learn the art of collecting power-ups. Steer towards these collectibles which are scattered around the track. Weapons and other special power-up goodies can be found inside. Use them wisely, my young apprentice. All right, so we, we're left behind man, let me introduce you to the joys of power I didn't do the you power slide better around sharp properly. Turns. Power sliding also gives you a small speed boost. Ready? Do I feel an input lag? Square button while in a turn to perform a power slot. All right, so now we flash with what someone. I'm talking about. While you're in control of a turret gun, use the analog stick to aim and the X button to shoot. All right, so let's talk about uh, the special mechanic of uh, Crash Tag Team Racing. Which is what we're seeing right now. The reason why it's called the tag team racing is because you can clash into a different uh, racer and then you would combine, right? And then. This one's for those who can't make up it, huh? Yeah, so the chicken explained it for us. Uh, we can swap places. We can either be the gunner or the driver. Hey, man. That turret you got getting tired? If you want to shoot a different turret gun, press the square button to swap right, turret. Right, so here. Happy hunting. But that has no ammo. Yeah, it, it, it looks rough, but uh, again, look at the 
game speed and the FPS. We're locked at the 60 frames per second and game speed doesn't even go below 99%. So this has more to do with me playing the device over HDMI versus actual performance. So let me just finish this uh, track and we'll shift over to camera mode. Alright, how long to go? I don't know. We're in first place, so... I'm not worried. Alright. Yeah, now, this reminds me a lot of uh, Mario Kart Double Dash in that um, you have two characters and when you're actually playing Mario Kart Double Dash with two players, uh, that's what happens. One of the one of you uh, will have to control the power-ups. One of you will, does the driving. It's better executed here because you have a turret, and so you actually have to aim. Whereas it's a little bit boring in Mario Kart Double Dash because you're just really waiting. Uh, to use your power up, right? No aim, not a lot of aiming needed. Alright, so let's do that. Let's get this. And we'll, we'll take a look at this on a standard camera. Let's see how it performs there. Power crystals are hidden around the world. Alright, so we're back and we are looking at this through an overhead camera instead. Let's see if there are any uh, significant changes to what we saw earlier through HDMI L. Okay, newbie. To walk or run, All right. simply move the analog stick or directional buttons in the direction you Small so just to make sure that um, move, we are looking at um, X button and let's see you do just a single jump. We are doing a good comparison. I'll play it from the beginning. You know, Wumpa coins are scattered everywhere, even inside certain objects. Yo, yo! Activation buttons require you to punish. All right, and we're going to be dropping there because we want to get those as well. Wow, I see some boxes that... Uh, that I didn't see earlier. Alright. Yeah, see how much better it runs? Yeah, so... No, it feels a lot much different now. Oh! This place is a dump! Sometimes the floor will just give way under you. Play safe and jump over. Okay, you're gonna love this. Jump pads allow Crash to jump to otherwise inaccessible locations. To do it, press the X. So I'm not sure how you're gonna feel about this game because um, it, it's supposed to be a racing game but there's a lot of platforming, 3D platforming to it. it it's uh, almost like a collectathon. Some people might see that as a good variety and others might say, well I'm here for racing, I don't want platforming. But yeah. This is the part uh, where I get uh, performance issues. 
And as you can see here, they have it locked at the 30 frames per second. Alright, but even if I, I get some frame rate dips, so here as you can see, it struggles a little bit there. Audio's okay, uh, movement is a little choppy. I mean, you can feel it chugging them off, right? Uh, well, it's not race. It's not the racing part of the game. It's also man, that chicken is so noisy. Okay, so where was I? Um, it's not the racing part of the game, but it feels like this this part of uh, the game is going to be important because, well, uh, you'll be exploring this to get to the racetrack, and you'll be exploring these to uh, get the collectible items, right? So. Let's do a test later after I'm done with this, but let's get that. Now let's go back there. Oh no. Yeah, it's getting choppy, right? Oh, what's that? I ignored all the coins on the other side. That's weird. Well, doesn't this the game doesn't really penalize you for? Uh, falling down holes, so that's fine. Yeah, so you go into different areas and you collect items, then you go into doors to get to racetrack. Let's have this play out. of the carburetor and defeat the insidious delusions of deep sea dragon. Master these dangerous tracks and find greater challenge in the battle arena where unhinged lunatics compete for trivial prizes. Isn't this exciting, Stu? You know I'm excited. Get going, Crash, and show me what you got. All right, so yeah, you, you can run around this um, area, collect your coins, Later, you'll have a need for those because you'll need to, you know, buy unlock items. Let's see what, what happens. If there's going to be any slowdown or... So there wasn't too many much slow down there, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I mean, it all worked out well. You have a thousand coins. Let's go right into the first track. We'll do, I think, um, because we've already spent a lot of time here. We'll do two tracks, and then let's go back to the main area. Let's see if there's anything in the settings that we can change that'll make that run a little more smoother now pay attention homeboy on maneuvering your vehicle use the analog stick or directional buttons to steer go ahead You'll all right loaded with control when you try it in my opinion this is the most important part of the game 
Because this is the racing part, right? Oh no. Man, I keep merging with, with them and then unmerging. Hey man, that's now that's what I'm talking about. While you're in control of a turret gun, use the analog so this is, to aim and the X button to shoot. This is it's when cool. you're in control of the turret gun. Right, and then uh, technically I'm on autopilot, it's my partner. Wanna Wanna shoot? Hey, it's my partner who Driving the cart. Hey, sports fan, let me introduce you to the joys of power slam. You can use it to corner better around sharp turns. And then when you press R, you, you take control of the cart. Right now we're at first place. Yeah, I keep I keep pressing the flash button when I was intending to press the swap button. Oh no. Alright, I think we're gonna win. There you go. Yeah, so that racetrack uh, played really well. I don't remember any stutters or... Crystals are hidden around the world and several of them may be needed to access important landmarks. That said, what may you need to access important landmarks? Right up. Power. Oh, what happens? You're far more intelligent than you look. I'm not sure where the other tracks are, but let's see if uh, we can get to them. Looks like this is a trap. All right, pirates of the pirates of the carburetor. Yeah, and you'll have to play to, through this because that this is the only way to unlock other uh, vehicles, uh, vehicle parts, characters, race tracks. All right, now we won't have that blasted uh, chicken commentator messing up, messing me up.
so far so good we do did see a bit of minor stuttering earlier Now we're in first place. Doing pretty well. The graphics are holding up. Right, look at look at how good this looks on 2x PSP resolution. Oops. I don't know how to do the power slide. I think we're near the end. So I separated just before we got to the finish line. That means I get first place. Now let's get back to the main theme park. I think even though we've only seen two racetracks. Oh man. I don't think it's going to be Now sports fan, when you run into someone with a power crystal icon above their head, it means Look at how we we get back to Have one for say. Press the triangle button to talk to them. Wonder how we get back to where we were earlier. Darn it. Oh, 
Yeah, again, I'm not sure how, how you guys are going to feel about this when you want to race, but what the game is making you do is, you know, play this uh, platforming section. So if we return to the main menu, oh no, uh, we don't have it saved. Enter the park. Drive the tracks. So we have two. No. Oh no. Man, I want to go back to the. Alright, so this is the. How did I get here again? Oh my goodness, it's forcing me to go here. There's nothing there. Yeah, I think I can make it. That bridge. How about this ship? All right. All right, we're going back to town. Back to the midway. That's where I wanted to go. All right, so we wanted to check if there's anything we can do here. Let's put it to frame skipping to two. And I already have lower resolution at aggressive. Upscale is already off, so let's see. Let's just explore this area. So right now it's okay, running pretty well. It you you can feel the difference in the frame skip though. Right, a lot of uh, areas to go to. Yeah, so this just keep circling around. I think this is the, the area of this game that will really test this device, right? Alright, and uh, so far so good, right? So if you put it at frame skip to 2, whenever you're in this area, it plays well, it plays okay. I don't think we can uh, enter any other area because we don't have the power gem for it. Let's see if we can make it back to Mystery Town. Astroland, Rex, Happily Ever Faster. I don't know where. Mystery Town is. No, they're Mystery Island. I wonder if all tracks need to be unlocked or if there are some some tracks that are already unlocked in the main menu. All right, there you go. So, but um, frame skip to two fixes that. Let's take a look at the main menu. See if there are any other tracks that we could try. Maybe I'm hoping that there are.
Oh no. You have to unlock everything, right? Deep sea diving. Yeah, and you have to unlock... You have to unlock the trash, you have to unlock the modes. Let's see if we can find uh, the, th the third track real quickly. Alright. Typical of a Crash Bandicoot game. Yeah, could be a little tough. I hope it doesn't take me a while before I can find the next track. You know what? I shouldn't be even. I shouldn't even be worrying about that. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Let's buy it. Oh, big spender. You got a crystal, so I got crystals now. Thanks a lot. I don't know where the next track is. I think we're coming to one. Uh, uh, all right. Oh, that's another gem. Okay, all well and good, but where's the track? This is still the same track. Jeez, alright. Yeah, I think we can call it an episode now. I don't think we're gonna see any uh, complicated tracks that are uh, gonna push this uh, further than we've already seen. Right, the, the biggest challenge really is the midway right which is a big big area maybe maybe we can get to the next track here uh. man i really want to see the next track That's just the same track. Yeah, we'll wrap it up here. Um, so what we did, did we learn today? Well, we saw that uh, the Retro Pocket 3 can run uh, Crash Tag Team Racing pretty well. Uh, we also saw that um, on HDMI out performance isn't that good. I'm not sure if it's just uh, because I was recording it and uh, when you're recording plus when it has HDMI out. Uh, it became uh, taxing for the equipment. One thing's for sure though, if you play it in handheld mode here, like this, it's gonna run pretty well. Alright, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you, there are any other PlayStation Portable games that you want me to test here, right now I'm focused on PlayStation Portable games. Uh, be sure to uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll add uh, your request to the list. For now, this is Al from TheGamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video.